a journey that began 22 days ago is about to reach its zenith ladies and gentlemen it is a road that has taken many speed bumps it is a road that has been filled with trials and tribulations and it is a road that has ended towards the toss right now heads is the call by akshay gujarat chennai quickan win the toss and choice defense oh it's getting heady the anticipation is bubbling the nerves are cringing but it's time for the final countdown as we look towards a new champion in ultimate coco Who will be the new champions? Will it be the Chennai Quick Guns or will it be the Gujarat Giants? It started off with a blockbuster as it is the Indian Oil Power Play and Vijay Shinde dodges Feza Khapathan. You're playing for the title. You go with your big players. You go with your big players. You might have a different role, but the occasion, you need to beat the occasion, especially in these early few minutes. There you go. What just happened? Ranji Kashyap is gone. Within a minute 30, Ranji Kashyap is gone and Madan follows. Within four seconds of that, two of these players have already gone. Vijay Shinde now, very close to getting a dream run. Not so, Vijay Shinde is gone. He's gone, his batch is saying, his bench is saying, come back, do not take the review. Missed that three minute mark by eight seconds. Two minutes 52, four minutes eight remaining and the Giants have already got six points. Akshay Bhangri, who got the last touch, is also away from the lineup. As this is yet another call. Wow! I thought their name was the Chennai Quick Guns. But the Gujarat Giants are Quick Guns right now. He looks so strong out there. He knows exactly what he's doing, but clearly, now, he's gassed out. Legs are heavy. He set it up now. He set it up for Shubhan Badman, but he's also gone for the review. Yeah, we have to take a look at that same... It, it could be the same problem as last time this this if you take your first step after your lift in within the central lane it's allowed take it beyond on the opposite side it's a not out you packed your lungs with that as Lakshman Gavas ran out of his he's been dismissed who loves dodging on the central lane itself has been dispatched just as we were singing his praises what a start this is for the giants of ginormous proportions they have steamrolled the chennai quick guns in this first turn it's important to note that the last time around when these two teams faced off I'm not talking about the previous game. We'll talk about that later. Because as of right now, let's celebrate the accomplishments of the Gujarat Giants and how they achieved near perfection in their attacking turn. With Feza Khampatan, with that skydive effort, one skydive, five running touches, 14 points for the Gujarat Giants. Lots to catch up for the Chennai Quick Guns. Turn two. This is what they need to overturn and which is why they have gone for... The Indian Oil power play, two Gazis on the match, Sachin Bhargo, Dhurve Salunke. Subham Thura continues to frustrate. Suyash Gargate occupying the Chilpin space. Dhurve Salunke has gotten Subham Thura stuck. That was masterminded by Dhurve Salunke, executed by Sachin Bhargo. They've been saved, they've been saved though. They took a beating with Suyash Gargate and Deepak Mahathir barging into each other and yet they survived to make yet another... Dreamroll! Dreamroll! Ramji dies, Ramji misses. But it's what between his ears that's getting him going, that's getting them a four-minute dream, dream run. Three defensive points in the process. Deepak Mahathir, you beauty! He can't continue. He can barely stand. He can barely walk. Look at him move. Yeah, he is uh, wood for legs right now, does Deepak Madhav. 
but Durvey Salun ke is trying to target Suryash Garg at the now Suraj Nande will complete the process but he's done his job and he's asking for a review yet again because he knows Gargate can pile on the misery oh yeah this is tactical at its best another minute is what they will be hoping for and this game looks like it's getting done and dusted if they do not resurrect something now do something now the quick guns this game would be over over by first innings but if i talk about history as we take a look at the review yes it was tactical deepak madhav you have done your job gather all the flowers that are being thrown towards you because you deserve it stacks up yet another dream run point to make it a four point dream run the last time around the gujarat giants had a nine point lead at the end of the first innings and i'm talking about the game which was played between full strength side whoa dream run dream run and he's done done his job to the fullest on the plaudits that he deserves but if tonight is not your night you're going empty handed you're going home with nothing to show for 7 seconds remaining are they are they relying on their second innings are they relying on yes, their second yes. innings when it comes to strategic yes. standpoint for the chennai quick guns and as of right now the first few moves have been made by the giants 14 points in attack as opposed to 6 a mere 6 for the quick guns and 5 point dream run 197 to the giants in innings 1 On to Pina Sayya, the only Vizier on the mat for the Giants, wearing the yellow jersey for you. Remember, that change of direction does not apply to him, so he is your biggest trump card as far as an attacking unit is concerned. Now here is Sanket, and this batch is doing a good job of surviving on the mat. Akash Kadam, Amit Martel, Adarsh Mohite finally sent packing. I thought he was going for a solo, but now it's going to be a combined effort. Is it going to be a muted one or an excited one? Dream run, muted one. Yes, sir. Patel gone. How often have we seen that? As soon as you get the dream run, one of those players who are part of that batch quickly lose their wicket, get tagged out, and is he gone as well? Is Sanket saying he's gotten rid of Akash Kadam? But they've done their job. As far as your theory is concerned, this batch has done their job. Three minutes nineteen, setting it up now for Ramji Kashyap Madan and Vijay Shinde to see off. city has gone up a notch it is time for the indian oil power play against a batch that is well accustomed to running and defending during the indian oil power play and as of right now madan saying please please take the focus on me avoid ramji kashyap madan's gone madan's gone review nothing wrong with the co desperation the r the need of the r for the chennai quick guns this was a desperate review and this has thrown a spanner in the works of the planner change of direction abhijit patel suyash gargate 146 left to last two minutes gone for this batch with a shinde now sanket has him in his sights just misses him uses the central lane patta narsaya flying patta narsaya getting rid of vijay shinde and so ranji kashyap remains 29-8 dream run dream run very very important dream run dream run number 20 is just around the corner and it will ensure that the quick guns get into double figures sing it along my friend dream run Don't get dismissed, Ramji. Three seconds to last. This is Gujarat Giants' match to lose. Nineteen points the lead. Twenty go points go on, go on, to make up. You need to get those twenty-four points on offer from the four batches of the Gujarat Giants. That's the only way. Twenty is what you need to get as far as overturning that lead. Ten-three in this turn. 
the all-important turn four and the champion will be crowned. Ram Mohan, Patta Narsaiya and Pavani Sabar, they remain not out. So they weren't consumed, which means they begin proceedings in the all-decisive turn. It's all down to this now, ladies and gentlemen. You keep your eyes fixated on the screens. He changes direction. He gets Pavani Sabar. Welcome to the Ramji Kashyap special. Oh, this is the kind of start that the quick ones needed. Four points quickly within the first minute of this turn. Now, get rid of Ram Mohan. It's got to be that kind of a turn. It's got to be those seven minutes as soon as you get one. There you go. He's got him. He's got him. Six points within one minute, 17 seconds. And the quick guns, are they staging a comeback? Don't go anywhere. As it's time for the Indian oil power play, Sachin Bhargo and Durvesh Salunke, the Vazirs for the Chennai Quick Guns. You'd be dismissed for a self out for illegal play. As, as Akshay Bhangre trips, Akshay Bhangre was trying to taunt and he fell on his own sword. Yeah, Fezza Papatan. A dream runs to his name, is dismissed now. Nightmare for him. Ramji Kashyap will play on Rajvartan Patel. And now we have a final on our hands. So the quick guns can't take a review. Whereas the Gujarat Giants still have their review left. That Hail Mary at the end, should they need to use it. Sanket Kadam now being chased by the Quick Guns players. Now Patel, he's gone. Patel is gone. Another two points for the Quick Guns. They've done 150. Five seconds away from getting the two-minute mark. You need to get to the three-minute mark. Akash Kadam has got him. He's got another two points. Another two points for the Quick Guns. It's a three game. It's a three-point game now. Three-point game. Less than 130 remaining. One that could decide the trophy! I liked how you came out with a rasp on that one. Sanket Kadam, continue on. Will you see the Gujarat Giants home? Oh, he's done it. He's done it. He has done it. Just remember, one more tag. Then it's 30 28. That tag has come. That tag has come. The two points have come. 19 seconds remaining. He's taken the review though. Is there a high rise? There was a gap between Durve Salunke and Ramji Kashyap. In a way, it's so fitting. In this story of twists and turns, that a superstar, the one-man army is the one that's committed the foul and has handed that glimmer of hope to the Gujarat Giants. Sanket pulling off the great escape for the ages. Sanket pulling off the great escape with another dream run. Sanket leading his team to victory. Just about time now. Cue the celebrations from the run of Kutch to Baroda to Porbanda to Ahmedabad because the Gujarat Giants rule all of India. You are new champions. Season 2 powered by Indian Oil. And it is a team that has epitomized the collective spirit. It is a team that has epitomized the strategic spirit. It is a team that has played the game of chess and proved to be the masterminds on the Coco match. This was a final for the ages. A final for the ages. But the team in blue is left stunned. They can't believe what's just happened because the Gujarat Giants have pulled off the great escape. A four-point lead, five-point margin to win this game. Five-point margin to be giant, to be crowned champions of ultimate Coco season two, powered by Indian Oil.